Guys, welcome back to A Step Above. In today's video, we're going to talk about the first two trousers that you need for your fall and winter wardrobe. Mind you, these are the two pairs of trousers that I think one should have. This does not necessarily mean you should get these two, but these are more so to give you an idea of where to start when you are taking your journey down classic menswear. We are going to talk about the types of fabric, how to wear these, and also the color combinations that you can put together with these great two fabrics and trousers. So if this video you're interested in, stay tuned. When we are putting together a classic menswear wardrobe, we're gonna start with specific seasons, mainly focusing on right now the fall and winter. So the first two pair of trousers we're gonna talk about is the light gray or dove gray trousers. Now, there are several different options you can go with light gray. I'm specifically talking about light gray flannel trousers. Why light gray flannel trousers? Light gray, or gray as you all know, gray is a non-color. So gray is a blank canvas, meaning you can dress these trousers up, you can dress them down, it is a pair of trousers that can be worn with a t-shirt, if that's the direction you want to go, all the way up to a nice cashmere sweater. It's a solid foundation that can be paired with several different options in your wardrobe. That's why I believe this will be the best pair to start out with when you are taking your sartorial journey in classic menswear. It's a nice foundation piece and it'll also give you the versatility to transition from a casual setting to a more intimate evening, let's say, of going out to dinner, a uh, play, a concert, anything along that line. The light gray flannel trousers are very versatile trousers and they're a, trouser, a pair of trousers that one should definitely consider. Before we move on, I just wanna to touch on one quick point. When I say light gray, I'm talking about dove gray. If you don't know what dove gray is, dove gray, if you've ever seen a dove, it is the a lighter version of the feathers of a bird, a dove specifically. Gray is a mixture between white and black, which would give you that gray color. Also, dove gray has a combination of light blue and pink just to give it that texture. So when I say light gray, I'm talking about a pair of dove gray flannel trousers. Moving on, suspenders, belt loops. As you can see, the pair of light gray or dove gray trousers that I have, these have suspender buttons and belt loops. I don't have a preference on either one. I do like suspenders since these are a higher rise or high waisted pair of trousers, they clear my navel. I don't think a belt would be the correct way to wear these because it'll kind of cut you off at the midsection. I'm c contemplating on getting the belt loops removed from these trousers just so I can have that nice streamlined look. Now, sus not suspenders, but pleats. If you're not a fan of pleats, that's not a big deal either. These are forward facing pleats, which means the pleats face the zipper or the crotch of the trousers. I enjoy having pleats if you're someone who has wider thighs or thicker thighs. Pleats is definitely a good option just so your, your trouser pants don't feel so constricting on your legs when you sit down. Let's talk about how to dress a pair of dove gray flannel trousers up. As you can see, when I'm dressing these trousers up, I am wearing a pocket square and a sport coat. It's a casual look at the same time it's dressy. You could wear this to the office, you know, transition you right to nighttime. I'm foregoing the tie. As you can see, even now I don't have a tie on. You can wear a tie if you want. It just depends on your mood. A tie will just take it a step up just because it's a little more formal when you are wearing a tie. It's a great look all around. And like I said, with the light gray or dove gray trousers, they're a blank canvas. So as you can see, I'm pairing the trousers with a brown 
houndstooth tweed sport coat. Tweed and flannel, they both have textures. At the same time, the blank canvas of the trousers allows you to wear a little more bolder sport, co sport coats. If you want to wear a bolder shirt or pocket square or even tie, it just provides a canvas to let everything else be at the forefront and the trousers sit in the back. The next one, we have a casual look or what I deem casual, just a pair of the light gray trousers with open neck shirt and the suspenders. Now, I've been told that wearing suspenders without a jacket is at times inappropriate. I think it's a great look. I just think it, but the suspenders in itself elongates your legs. So it's a very elegant look. It's a pop of color. It's different, of course it's different than a belt, but compliments you'll get when you're wearing a nice pair of suspenders. If you wear clip-on ones, that's fine, but I'm talking about button suspenders. It's a different look that many people may not see, and without the sport coat or tie, you just have an open neck shirt with suspenders and trousers. It's a super casual look, and it's something that I enjoy wearing from time to time. Let's talk about the material. The material in a pair of flannel trousers, if you're, actually if you know, or if you've felt a pair of flannel trousers before, then you know that the surface is a little bit napped, it's a little fuzzy, and that's because they, when they're going through the process of spinning the, or the wool for the trousers, it's combed up just to give it a little more of a nap surface. That nap surface not only provides texture, but it also provides softness. It's one of the reasons why I picked a pair of flannel trousers for your two trousers in your fall and winter collection. It's something that exemplifies the fall and winter season. I think just a nice texture, something to rub your, your hands on, it feels good. Or if you're even out on a date and your, your date wants to rub on your leg, it's a nice texture to have. It's just a cozy fabric to me. And I think, again, this is a perfect addition to your fall winter wardrobe. This does not mean you need to go light gray. You can go a charcoal gray. You can go a Cambridge gray if you want. Either option's fine, but I think the light gray just shows a level of casualness that is easily, you can easily transition it through multiple parts throughout the day, whether it's in the afternoon, early evening, to, or even in the evening. It just is a nice transitional piece that one should highly consider having in their wardrobe. The next trouser, I think a pair of corduroy trousers is the best bet for your second pair in your fall and winter wardrobe. Why corduroy? Why would one pick corduroy? This is based off you having the correct two suits for your fall and winter wardrobe. Stay tuned for a video on that. But corduroy, it's such a hardy fabric. It is, and when I say corduroy, the one the pair that you guys are seeing is a pair of dark olive green corduroys. The dark olive green corduroys, it matches the environment, specifically the changing of the season in the fall. Corduroys, the whales, rips, or cords, however you want to call it, in the trousers, just provides, again, more texture. It'll keep you warm, and it's a nice transitional piece. Now, can you wear it at night? Absolutely. Can you wear corduroys with black shoes? I would it. I've seen others do that. I think it just depends on the type of corduroys you get. If you get a pair of black corduroys or a dark gray, then you can wear black shoes. But these dark olive green corduroys, this is a color that's versatile not only with oxblood shoes, but also with brown shoes. And with a pair of dark olive corduroys and then some oxblood shoes, it's a perfect combination if you're going to any of the holiday parties around the season. This is the reason I picked this color. Dark olive, I think it pairs well, not only with blue blazers, light brown blazers, variations of gray, and even green. I have a 100% cashmere sport coat in dark, in dark forest green, 
and it pairs beautifully. There's enough contrast in both that you can tell from afar, not so much, but up close, it's a great combination. I could have went with a light brown or brown pair. However, some of the sport coats I have may not have paired well. Even though brown can be paired with many things, I think just having a pair of corduroys in a different color, more so on the olive or dark olive, or if you can get something in a light gray, you just want your trousers to be interchangeable with the rest of your wardrobe and it doesn't clash with other garments that you have. Let's talk about casually dressing a pair of corduroys. As you can see, I'm wearing the dark olive green corduroys with a nice brown belt. Brown belt from Anson Belts, great belts by the way. This The same light blue custom dress shirt by Black Lapel with an open collar. This is a look that you could wear to a birthday party, a, a gathering of just friends to hang out. You could definitely wear this to the office. With a, well, right now, it's, with COVID, there's not a lot of offices that people are going to, but one could wear this to the office, wear it running around town. This is a definitely a casual look. Throw it on with a pair of oxblood or brown penny loafers or just loafers, you are good to go. An amazing casual look. And this is just the versatility of a pair of corduroys and what you can do with them. Now let's dress these bad boys up. As you can see, I decided to wear these dark olive green corduroys with a light gray or dove gray tweed sport coat. Why did I wear this combination? This is a great combination. Again, just showing off the casualness, open tie, pocket square, green pocket square with some tones of brown and gray just to pick up what's in the sport coat and also in the trousers again wearing the brown belt you don't want a strong contrast when you are wearing a belt if you're wearing gray trousers with a black belt as much as a lot of people like that look i think it just cuts your body in half you're better off wearing suspenders just so it's a smoother transition from top to bottom but in this one, I'm wearing the brown belt, dark green cords. The cords blends in, or the belt blends in with the brown since they're both dark, within the contrast of just the gold belt buckle. It's a nice look. This is another look that you can easily wear to the office, a night on the town, or just a gathering with friends. It's a transitional piece. Actually, both are transitional pieces that one could wear throughout the day just to maximize not only a wardrobe but the elements of the clothing they all harmonize together and it's a fantastic look one should definitely consider a pair of corduroy trousers not dark olive green trousers but just a pair of corduroy trousers in itself let's talk about the material the material corduroys are similar to velvet but they're not velvet it's a cotton pair of trousers the cords or rips or whales, however you want to call them, traps the air in the cold breeze just to keep your legs warm. Just like the pair of the dove gray flannel trousers, I went with another textured trouser. Just so the trousers in itself, having texture during the fall and winter, it's just a different type of sophistication that one should consider. And again, if you are having on a date or out on a date with somebody, the person wants to rub up against your leg, again, soft pair. We're going with trousers, not only that have texture, but they're soft. You want something that feels good in your skin. A lot of the, some trousers may not be fully lined or half lined. So if you're gonna have that texture rubbing up against your legs all day, you want something that's going to be soft. It's not going to be irritating. One may think corduroys or flannel trousers are irritating. They're, they're, they're not, and I have a lot. I have a couple pairs. Not a lot, but I have a couple pairs. So just sticking with textures. Again, the dark olive trouser, or dark olive corduroy trousers, a great addition. Now, belts or side tabs or suspenders, I think belts are the best option 
you can go side tabs. I've seen some with side tabs, they look great. Now, is it gonna make a difference? Not really, but the belt just offers not only to wear an accessory, but it's a different option just to have if you already have a pair of trousers that may not have belt loops or may have side tabs, just something different, just gives it a, another element of casualness when you are wearing a belt. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, either drop them in the comment section or head on over to my Instagram and send me a message. I post a lot of short clips or photos of episodes that are gonna come down the pipeline. Now, the trousers I picked, these are my personal trousers. You guys can take this any direction you want, but I wanted to provide you with a starting point to build a foundational wardrobe. I think these are two great pieces that one should definitely consider. Now, tailor them to your lifestyle and what's going to be best for you. These are based off of me and what I do in my life. I think you would do the same, but let this video guide you in the direction that's going to be most advantageous for you. That said, guys, I appreciate your audience and I'll catch you next time.